Cyclone Edai smashed into Mozambique in March this year, killing thousands of people and destroying entire settlements. The storm, one of the biggest on record, is estimated to have caused more than $2 billion worth of damage across the region. A month later, Mozambique was hit by another storm, Cyclone Kenneth, killing dozens more people. Never before has this country been hit by two cyclones in the same season. Save the Children says 2019 will be remembered as the year that the climate crisis devastated parts of eastern and southern Africa. The charity warns that climate change contributes to at least 33 million people in the region facing emergency levels of food insecurity, with more than 16 million of them children. The link to climate change is actually the compounding effect of uh, emergency after emergency after emergency. So the ability for, for people to recover from a shock, um, like a drought or, um, or a flood at the moment even, um, is, is getting less and less and less and therefore their livelihoods are slowly but surely being eroded uh, and, and literally washed away. A 2015 Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change report shows temperatures rising in southern Africa at twice the global rate. Save the Children says leaders of industrialized nations must commit to bigger cuts in greenhouse gas emissions and greater support for those most affected by climate change. If you are a child growing up uh, in eastern and southern Africa, um, your chances of survival are currently being affected by actions that are taken by people in a completely different part of the world to which you have very little control or, or, or effect on. 29,000 delegates are meeting in Madrid for the COP25 climate conference. US President Donald Trump is not attending, having withdrawn from the landmark Paris Climate Agreement, which he says would unfairly penalise the United States economy. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.